What's up guys, War here, and today I'm gonna go over how to pick your first build for Path of Exile at the brand new start of a league. Let's do it. So when it comes to picking your build and what you're gonna do at a league start, or just like we are now, we're like a few weeks into the brand new league, so it's still fairly early, and there's a lot of players coming over to start in Path of Exile, a lot of new players, so this is definitely gonna be some good information for you. Now, when I first started out, there's a website that I like to use, which is called poe ninja this is a great site it you know there's some controversy a lot of people may not like it but this is a very very good site what this site does is break down the new league which is what we're playing whether it's affliction softcore hardcore ssf hardcore ssf ruthless etc right and then you can see all the previous leagues so you can catch up other data from previous leagues and move on to the other ones so you got the ladder for experience or depth the time shots now, what you see here is probably the most important part, and this is why I really love using this site. There's a lot of other ones that really kind of track and just kind of keep track of other statistics in Path of Exile, but this one I think is the most accurate. Never mind the stupid ads that are on here. I wish these would just go away. But so as you can see here from left to right, these are the percentages of builds or not necessarily builds, but the classes that are being used with the assorted ascendancy that is being used in the current league. So as you can see that 19% of the players are using Ranger with Deadeye, which is the same exact thing that I'm using in the current league as well, right? You can see that there's Ranger Pathfinder, there's Inquisitor, there's Champion, Duelist, you know, so you have a bunch of other ones here that you can see. Now, more importantly, what it's gonna do is it break down items, the most used items, the most used skills, it's also going to break down the most used passive, the most used passives, as well as the most used atlas trees. So this is a really good website to kind of help you get a kind of like an understanding and just see what other people are playing. If you're new to Path of Exile and you kind of want to get going. Now, this also does not mean that, you know, these builds are quote unquote the best or these builds are the easiest because a lot of them are not. Um, there's definitely pluses and minuses with these but i wanted to bring you this website because it's definitely something that is very good information this link will be down in the description below now for reference because i'm a new player and i really enjoy path of exile this is my second league that i've been playing i chose to do ranger dead eye right ranger dead eye and i'm doing um lightning shots or excuse me lightning arrow into tornado shot so you, as you can see down here in the main skills, the Lightning Arrow is the third most used skill because it is a absolutely powerhouse ability or skill to use when you're leveling up and going through the campaign. And then of course we end up transitioning into Tornado Shot, which is what I'm currently playing. But you can see that Lightning Arrow has an array of different skills. You're using Lightning Arrow as well as a bunch of different auras and some other rains. That's why you see so many, you see Storm Rain and Blast Rain being rained down on the screen, which is super cool. The build is very, very, very easy to build and get skilled up for. You don't need a lot of gear for it when you're first starting out. And it is incredibly powerful to help you get through the game. I have been using it since League Start and I used it all the way up until level 88. And then that's when I finally transitioned over to Tornado Shot, which is more of the end game variant of the build. But Lightning Arrow can definitely take you through all content smoothly through the campaign for all you brand new players. Let's get into the, the bare bones of why you would want to pick something that's relatively easy or relatively fun that you're looking forward to. Now, the biggest tip that I can give you is following a build guide, which is what we have over here. We're going to follow a build guide. Now, if you guys don't know that um, Path of Exile has a build guide reference sheet, if you will, it's called Path of Building. This is where everybody incorporates all of their builds. This is where you can track, you can see all of your damage. You can see the items that are being used. You can see your skills tree and follow this. A lot of this is really, really powerful stuff if you wanna follow a guide. When I first started, I followed a build guide that one of my community members um, like gave me to just follow because I think that when you're following a guide when you're first starting out and just understanding it and constantly reading it and making it and fine tuning it to exactly what the build guide is it makes playing the game so much easier and it makes it really easy to understand what's going on with your build and kind of understand what's going on before you really start to explore other uh, builds or other classes etc right so when you're looking at this you have your tree and it kind of just breaks down all your stats so what i really like about this i'm going to go to the notes big shout out to um 
uh, havoc for this build guide this is this is the one i use from league start super super powerful big shout out to havoc for putting this guide together so when you're looking at your tree what i really like about these builds is that you can see leveling guys from level one level two level three level four and then level five when you first get to your very first lab you get to your second and third lab it breaks everything down so as you're leveling up and you're gaining more levels you can see the tree and you can follow it exactly so that way it gives you a super powerful guide to follow so you're very very strong throughout the entirety of the game now it also breaks down the skills and as you can see here there's a little chess piece here so that means that you would want to put these chess pieces in here again this is having every single skill gem you're not going to have those when you first start out but you get lightning arrow you start to get some of the attachments here and you just put them in and your weapon again it shows exactly what gem that you're getting what level it is at level 20 and the quality if you can get it as you're progressing through the game so i really like this makes it real easy boots it just makes it super easy when you're leveling up and putting things in there super powerful stuff now items again this is going to break down all the items that havoc used now a lot of these items say maven uber elder the reason that it says that is because it's based on the end game pieces that he has for the build unless there's something that i'm missing here now what you can do is is try to find some items as you're leveling to get to kind of just match this not everything is always going to be perfect guys you're not going to be able to find exactly the items with the exact stats until you start to understand um prefixes and suffixes and mods that you can put on gear pieces but if you just kind of generally follow this it's going to give you very very strong odds just to easily overpower and just progress through the game at a very very good pace um so you got your gear pieces there super strong right uh you can see all the calculations if you really want to look at that but these build guides i will link this down in the description below again big shout out to havoc for the build guide um, I'm still working on one. I ended up changing my lightning arrow variant towards the end, so I'm still working on that POE. Uh, but I will link this down in the description for all you brand new players. This is exactly what I followed. And then I have the tornado shot swap, which is what I'm following right now. This is my exact build that I'm gonna be doing. I'm still working on it, so that'll be coming in the future. Now, with all that said and done, guys, Path of Exile can be a bit overwhelming, so I'm trying to make it the easiest that it possibly can be for you and your brand new adventure into the game because I've only been playing this game for a couple months now from last league into this league, and I can tell you I'm having such a blast. Everything that the game has to offer, especially it being free, is super, super satisfying when it comes to an ARPG. So again, go look at the website, follow Lightning Arrow, which is probably one of the best and easiest starter builds that you can use in the game. And just evolve from there, change things up, start a new class after you're done and kind of understand the game. But this is what I have for you guys for picking up a brand new build, starting the game, just to make it super, super easy for you. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the brand new league and what starter build or league start uh, build guide that you guys used. Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.